Punch Guard is a new feature in DP8 that seamlessly captures extra audio before and after your record pass. This can be very useful if you're trying to do an on-the-fly punch in or punch out and you miss the timing slightly. Here's an example. I've got this stereo drum track here, and I'd like to replace measure 3, but leave measures 2 and 4 intact. Note that I've got overdub mode on, which means that DP will record layers on top of layers instead of deleting the sound bites underneath. So now, I'll ask the drummer to play continuously while I play back from the beginning, but I'll hit record, which is 3 on the numeric keypad, as soon as I hit measure 3, and then I'll hit 3 again to take it out of record when I hit measure 4. Here we go. 3 to drop it into record, and 3 to take it out of record. Okay, I got the punch done, but let's say the edges aren't quite where I intended them to be. I may have hit record at slightly the wrong point, so what I can do now is go into the sequence editor, and just edge edit the new soundbite until its edge is where I want it to be. You can see that as I scrub backwards and forwards, Punch Guard has automatically saved 4 seconds before and 1 second after my punch. Once I've got the edges where I want them to be, I can crossfade by selecting the whole area and hitting Ctrl F to put crossfades in place over those seams. In the Preferences Audio Options page, DP lets you adjust the standard amount of punch guard. It defaults to 4 seconds before and 1 second after. You can also enable the option to only record pre-roll when punching in. This option is there for people who don't want to keep that extra 4 seconds for every single audio file. For example, for people who regularly like to grab audio files from the audio files folder and take them to other programs. In most cases though, the defaults would suffice for most usages. So that's a quick look at Punch Guard, a seamless and invisible system to help you capture just a little bit extra audio in case you ever need it.